Good morning. I'm Dr Christine Selvey from New South Wales Health with the COVID-19 update for Monday the 27th of December 2021. Across New South Wales, 95% of people aged 16 years and over have received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and 93.5% have received two doses. Of the people aged 12 to 15 years, 81.6% have received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and 78.3% have received two doses. There are currently 520 people with COVID-19 admitted to hospital in New South Wales with 55 people in intensive care, 17 of whom require ventilation. There were 6,324 cases of COVID-19 reported in New South Wales in the 24 hours to 8pm last night. More than 97,000 COVID-19 tests were reported during that period. Sadly, New South Wales is reporting the deaths of three people with COVID-19. A man in his 80s from Western Sydney died at Westmead Hospital. The man was a resident of the Uniting Lillian Wells Aged Care Facility in North Parramatta, where he acquired his infection. He had received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine and had underlying health conditions. This is the first known death in New South Wales linked to the Omicron variant of concern. A woman in her 90s from the Central Coast died at Wyong Hospital. She had received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine and had underlying health conditions. And a man in his 80s from Sydney, Sydney's Inner West died at Royal Prince Alfred Hospital. He had received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine and had underlying health conditions. New South Wales Health expresses its condolences to the loved ones of these people. A reminder to everyone across New South Wales to please get vaccinated now if you had not had your first dose and to get your second dose as soon as it is due. Most people with COVID who are admitted to ICU are unvaccinated. Thank you to everyone who has come forward to receive your booster vaccine. New South Wales booster program continues to ramp up with New South Wales Health already delivering more than 191,000 doses of vaccine for boosters. And these are helping to keep people safe and increase levels of immunity across New South Wales. People aged 18 years and over are eligible for a booster. If your booster is due, but you haven't yet booked in for it, please visit the New South Wales Government website and book it in today. Please remember that masks are now compulsory in all indoor, non-residential settings, including for hospitality staff and in offices, unless eating or drinking. From today, QR code check-ins are also compulsory. Hospitality venues, including pubs, clubs, restaurants and cafes, must have only one person per two square metres indoors. There are no density li limits for outdoor settings. These settings will remain in place until Thursday the 27th of January 2022. New South Wales Health thanks the community for their incredible response for, in coming out for testing as transmission rates of COVID-19 increase across the state. New South Wales Health advises people to please get tested for COVID-19 if they have symptoms, even if only mild, and to self-isolate until they receive a negative result. This public health applies to everyone, even people who are fully or partially vaccinated. However, to ease pressure on testing clinics, we encourage you to only get a PCR test if you do have COVID-19 symptoms or you are a household contact or have had a high or moderate risk exposure to COVID-19 
or have been directed to be tested by New South Wales Health or the Department of Education. Interstate travellers are still able to get a PCR test at New South Wales COVID-19 testing clinics. If you receive a case alert in your New South Wales Service New South Wales app, please monitor for symptoms and only get a PCR test if you become unwell. Around a quarter of, a pe a quarter of people exposed to COVID-19 may still develop their infection after seven days. For the next seven days, close contacts should exercise caution and not enter a high-risk setting. They should avoid large indoor gatherings and use a rapid antigen test if coming into contact with vulnerable people. Please get tested and stay at home if you have even the mildest of symptoms. Do not visit family, friends or go to social events if you are unwell. Wash and sanitise your hands regularly. If you do not have symptoms, consider using a rapid antigen test before going out. And thank you for your continuing efforts to get vaccinated and get tested and helping to limit the spread of COVID-19 across New South Wales. Please stay safe. Thank you.